Hello, today we're going to talk about updating data um, within Socrata via you know, different um, Excel documents here. So we're going to be working with the bicycle and pedestrian data. Um, and I've created tabs in one Excel document um, for the various data sets that we want to be working with. Um, and so previously the data was kind of structured in a um, you know more horizontal fashion with the these years being the columns and whatnot and so we kind of transpose that information uh, downward so each year would have their own um, line item but before we go ahead and, and get into that we just kind of want to make sure that there are a couple things we keep in mind when we update these data sets um, you know you want to make sure that you don't change the the name of the, the document that is being passed over to um, the team nightly because uh, that could cause some errors or, or for some data to not go through. Um, you also want to make sure that it's saved correctly. So, I mean, this one is saved as a Excel document, but CSV might be good uh, to save your, your doc, each document as. Um, so going into our example here, I mean, I'll go through every data set that we have, um, but you'll kind of see that there's a pattern um, that, that comes out of this. And, and then once you do one or two, you're able to, to do the rest. But um, so we have the Bike PM Act 222. And um, for each data point, we broke that out into a couple years. So we have uh, 2012 through 2021, and then we have the amount um, on, the, on the last column here. So let's say we wanted to add data to this or you know, add a single point. What we could do is, and you know, it doesn't really matter if you add it at the end or if you add it in here. Um, you know, when, you, when you bring it into Socrata, it will match up, um, but I like to do that do it right in here or close to the same uh, data point so it all matches up. So you can insert a new line. So let's say I wanted to do 2022. I could first type in 2022, um, you know, copy down this data point and then add in any other um, amount you'd want. So something like that. I'll get rid of couple so it kind of matches um, so right there you see that we've added 2022 and let's say I wanted to add um, you know for this other data point here it's the same kind of thing so we want to insert a new line 2022 and then we can bring down copy down this uh, this other data point here so that's just for this first one here. Um, like I said, as many years as you have, you can keep going, adding years as you want. And then you would, once you've added the information that you want, you would just hit save. And then, well, let me add in an amount here. So. Okay, so we'll save that. And then I already have the data set up already. So, um, what you can do is, you know, if you wanted to manually update this, you could bring it in here and hit edit. And run that loads. You would next hit add data, replace, um, browse for that. Okay. So it's going to look a little weird. It's going to give you this message, but we have to pick the, since we had it built out into sheets, Socrata reads that in and they kind of, they're kind of confused. Like, I don't know what sheet I'm looking at. So you have to scroll down here, pick the sheet. It updates. As you'll see here, you'll notice the data points are already added in um, to the ones that we add. And where's the other one? Yep. Right here. So, if that looks good, go ahead, save the draft. You can come down here and notice that, okay, there were 30 rows in the beginning when we started, and now there's 32. So we added those two rows in. Then you can update, 
continue. Yep. So this, the way I did it here is doing it manually. What would happen is overnight um, when our batch jobs run and we pull in this data, um, it, it will be updated um, automatically. So we don't have to go in manually and update that and um, change out the, the old data for the new one. So it'll add those two rows automatically and we'll just, you know, come in the next day and see that it's added. So that's one example here, but I'll just go through um, a couple more. So we have uh, bike PM commute. And so let's say I wanted to add, um, you know, another, another five <clears throat> levels here. So what you could do is copy out these five uh, locations down to the next line. And so I guess for this one, it would be 2016 to 2020. And then what you could do is copy that and then fill in with whatever numbers you want here. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if it is a percentage, it's better to write it as that, um, that format as opposed to, you know, like 45% or something like that, you know, so write it as it's formatted in the uh, other, other rows here. And so when that's done, we can do the same type of exercise if you wanted to update it manually. If you don't, um, and you're you're sending it over at uh, nightly via the batch jobs. All you have to do is come in, add these you know three rows or three columns here and a couple rows, and then save, and then close your document. Um, I would recommend keeping them in the same location so we can pick them up each night, um, so there's no issue. Um, Pet PM commute. So the next one, same idea, you know copy over this part here. Or, I mean, even if you didn't have all the data, let's say you just had statewide, Kauai, and Oahu, you just delete that out. Again, 2016 and 2020, and then bring that down. So, um, um, and then enter your data here and then save. I mean, there should be a pattern that comes out of this um and it's pretty straightforward so next one okay it's similar to the first one where we have um a couple dates and then we break them out into the same kind of data points so let's say for this one you know i had 2021 data i could again insert another another row copy that down and then 2021 and then the amount, so we'll call it 20. So right here, I've added a new line. Socrata will pick that up after we save it and we receive it at night or, or you know, but in some frequency. <clears throat> um, and it will update the data set in Socrata. So let me get this out just so we have the right, so everything looks good here. Okay, again, save, close. Next one here. Same idea as the first. If I wanted, if I just had data for um, statewide hospital, we have this this one here. Copy that down. Twenty twenty one, and then add in data. So something like that. Then save. So it should look familiar. You know, it's the same sort of pattern for each. Um, same thing for this one. I don't have to go into it. I think this one is a little different um, in the fact that we have different um, percentages, I believe, down here. Uh, but that's it's the same kind of deal, you know. Um, once you have these two lines calculated out, you can create them for any year that you want. Um, and I've also included no, no, notes. Um, it's a little cluttered over here, but um, Socrata will read that in perfectly fine. As long as it's its own um, column here, it should be completely fine. Um, so that was a you know a quick run through of how to edit the data. Um, 
you know, in Excel. And then basically what you do, uh, edit the data, whatever you want, add the lines, hit save. And then I would recommend just closing it out. And, you know, the, the batch jobs will pick the, the documents up and we can have those updating on Socrata on a, you know, routine basis. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to myself, Tom, and Dan, um, if you have any questions. I think there was another question about um, editing or updating colors in charts. So I'll, I'll quickly run through that. Um, so we have one chart here for the uh, Byte PM Act 222. And so basically, if you wanted to edit the color of these, what you can do is um, in the visualization, you just hit edit. And this is gonna be the same for every single visualization. It'll follow the same sort of pattern. So uh, once that loads, so we are now in, in, in edit mode. You'll see that up here with the draft symbol. Um, and then what we do is we hit this, we hover over the, the um, graph here, we just hit edit. Now we're um, able to manipulate the way the chart looks. We can change it, um, the, what kind of chart we use. But for this example, we just want to change the color. So on the left side, you have the data, the axis, and the presentation. Um, we're only really worried about the presentation tab here. So what you, you can do is it looks a little like teardrop or, or paint drop. So you just click that. And as you'll see, we have a couple other tabs and we want color. So um, for this one, we have um, the drop down here. So it's defaulted to blue, um, but you, there's a you know a bunch of different options you can pick from, or you can enter the hex code um, that you would like to use. Um, I believe hex code we want. Um, where is it? I had that statement somewhere. Um, I forget the, the hex code for it, but in any, in any way, uh, you can enter the hex code there and then it'll automatically change the color of that graph. And that's for, you know, like I said, anything in Scott, all the graphs, all the, the font colors, um within stories and whatnot <clears throat> excuse me um so that's what you do so let's say you know i want to change it to orange hit save draft that's going to scroll a little bit or, or you know circle and then it says it'll save then you update it so when that loads Okay, and now our graph has changed colors. Um, again, if you have any questions, please reach out to Dan or I, and we'll be able to help you. Thank you very much.